This podcast is sponsored by Project Dragonfly, a master's degree program offered by Miami University dedicated to ecological and social change. Project Dragonfly offers a part-time Master's of Arts in Biology degree focused on conservation or a Master's of Arts in Teaching for teachers. The program is designed for working professionals and can be completed from anywhere in the United States. Learn more at projectdragonfly.miamioh.edu. Hi, everyone. I've got a handful of headlines for today's Pelicanus News. Uh, All of them are actually in a rewilding category. Uh, So I've got three stories in rewilding, and they are really, really interesting. Okay, these stories are truly incredible, but also reminders to me that conservation can actually work. All right, so in our category of rewilding, we've got three fun stories. First one coming out of WashingtonPost.com. Scientific breakthrough may save northern white rhino through surrogacy. This is coming out of Nairobi. Um, Scientists have made history by successfully transferring a rhinoceros embryo for the first time, conservationists announced recently an achievement that could help save the embattled species from the growing threat of poachers. This development is a milestone that scientists say opens the way to saving the endangered northern white rhino. Only two females exist in the world, Najin and daughter Fatu, and both are unable to carry pregnancies. Najin and Fatu live at Kenya's Ol Peheta Conservancy, I hope I pronounced that correctly, which was also home to Sudan the last male northern white rhino, which died in 2018. Sudan's death galvanized the world, motivating conservationists to try to save the species. Before that, though, in 2009, scientists had believed that there were only eight northern white rhinos alive on the planet, and they were all in zoos. When these rhinos did not breed, a team with a project called BioRescue went to Kenya in 2014 and decided to start working on another plan to save the species. This is cutting it really, really close, but um, this could be amazing, not just for the northern white rhino, um, but for all endangered species that are um, stuck in this bottleneck here. So I love to see this. Okay, this next story, there's almost nothing about it. Um, I couldn't find uh, better sources. It's coming out of a the manila times.net um and it was more just like a caption on some photos but um i think it's important enough to point out critically critically endangered javan lorises are released in indonesian jungle a rescue team released seven critically endangered javan slow lorises into indonesia's gunung halamun salak national park on java island again i hope i pronounced that correctly and they are navigating the challenging terrains to reintroduce the lorises to their natural habitat. Um, This is a project that we've talked about in the past. Um, I'm hoping to get more information, and when we do, I hope to share more with you. Okay, our last story here. um, This is another one we've been paying attention to for a while. This is coming out of UNEP, uh, the United Nations Environmental Uh, program, unep.org. In Bhutan, the endangered Bengal tiger is making a comeback. For nearly a year, hundreds of researchers fanned out across, across the Bhutan with one goal in mind, to find living examples of the endangered royal Bengal tiger. It was a massive scientific scientific expedition that saw them survey more than 26,000 square kilometers of territory or two thirds of the country. When researchers returned and tabulated their numbers last year, they were overjoyed. Bhutan, it turned out, was home to 131 Royal Bengal Tigers, a 27% jump from 2015. The survey was conducted with support from the United Nations Environment Program and was welcomed by conservationists who have seen wild tiger numbers around the world plummet in recent decades. The tiger is one of the world's largest carnivores. It can weigh over 300 kilograms and reach up to 3.3 meters in length. I always forget how big they are. This big cat once roamed Asia from the eastern coast of Russia to the Caspian Sea. 
However, since the beginning of the 20th century, an estimated 97% of the world's wild tigers have been lost. There are currently around 4,500 remaining in the wild across Asia, making the tiger an endangered species. The Royal Bengal tiger is the most numerous tiger subspecies, making up about half of the wild population. Okay, three amazing stories, really happy to share them. I hope these stories bring some optimism and lightness to your month, and I really do look forward to sharing more in the future. Thanks.